Hello everyone. Welcome to Worship Wednesday. My name is Craig, if you don't know me. Craig Stevens, if you need my last name. I think I'm the only Craig in our church. I probably made a Craig mad right there. Um, <laughs> I am so grateful to have the opportunity to uh, worship with you today. Um, this is pre-recorded, but you know, I think God can deal with pre-recorded. I think that God can work with pre-recorded, you know. Um, this is the quietest my house has ever been. My wife was gracious enough to take the kiddos out to a target run so I could have some quiet time uh, to worship with you all. Uh, or else you'd hear random screams and cries in the background, which I guess wouldn't be too bad. But, uh, yeah, I... An update with me, I, I don't know if I have a lot to say about me personally. It's not a lot different than probably what everyone else is experiencing right now. Um, you know, with everything that's going on. Uh, but a couple things that God has been doing is showing me over and over that God is God. And God does not change, and God is good. Uh, and it seems really simple, but it's really funny how easy it is to forget that sort of stuff. Just the foundational principles upon which our faith is made uh, ha have been what has saved me from going into that just rabbit hole of anger, sadness. Um, and I think that there's there's a place for all that and a place for grieving. Um, and I'm still processing a lot of things. But that kind of brings me to worship. Um, worship for me is is how I personally connect best with God. Um, it's how I talk to Jesus. It's how I see Jesus. It's how I hear Jesus. Um, like when when I'm battling my everyday spiritual battle that happens in, within me, uh, a lot of times it's not scripture that pops into my mind first. It's lyrics uh, from, from worship songs. And um, so I just... Thank God that we have the technology to connect this way. Um, it's 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 really a blessing, and and we can take it for granted. And I'm and I don't get me wrong, I'm sick of it. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to be together, and that's kind of weird for me. I'm I'm kind of introverted, which most people don't know because I'm talking a lot. But uh, I'm generally more of an introverted person. But even this, uh, even an introverted guy in this climate, I'm just, I'm so ready to just give some hugs out, uh, receive some hugs, and just, and be with my brothers and sisters again. So, you know, that's enough, I think, about me. I'm going to enter us into worship here, start off with a little prayer. And I just want to ask, before we get into it here, uh, I think a lot of times it can feel obligatory to like bring up the lyrics and like read them and, and sing them and I want to encourage you if if that's not your thing or if you're just if you just want to receive worship I think that's a great thing I think it's okay just to sit there close your eyes lay back and just and just be uh, so I just want to encourage the space uh, and I'm gonna try to give a little bit of space just just to take deep breaths and, and be with Jesus. Because Jesus wants to be with you. Jesus wants to be with me in relationship as a friend. Um, so that being said, let's, uh, let's pray and get into it. Yes, Father, we just invite your presence today into this worship, Lord. Lord, we just we pray that your presence just permeates every single part of us. Even the darker parts, the loneliness, the despair, the frustration, the anger. The hidden sin the shame. Lord, thank you that we can come to you as ourselves. Come as what we deem good, bad, and ugly. 
what society tells us is is disgusting and what is bad, Lord. Uh, I, I want you to today to show the truth, your truth, and how much you love us. Lord, I pray that you attack accusations today and that you set people free, set my brothers and sisters free today, Lord. I pray that you're ruling your reign over this country. Be stronger than it ever has before, Lord. throne you on high. And we love you.
and their children and their children may his favor be upon you for a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their 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 children oh yeah yeah may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you he is for you he is for you This is a newer song. I'm not sure if we played it in our church before. Um. It's not too difficult, but I just really fell into the lyrics during this time and decided to introduce it today. With a thousand tongues to lift 
speak us truth in this in this bridge. Talk directly to our hearts. Keep them soft. Keep them soft. Oh, I won't bow to idols. I'll stand strong and worship you. And if it puts me through the fire, I'll rejoice because you're there too. And I won't be formed by feelings. I hold fast to what is true. And if the cross brings transformation, you can't hang me there with you. And death is just a doorway into resurrected life. If I join you in the suffering, then I'll join you. My song will be the same, and oh, Christ be magnified, just let his praise arise, Christ be magnified in me, singing, oh, Christ be magnified on the altar of my life, Christ be magnified in Tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. In your presence, Lord, I Days. 
17 of the sweetest of lies when my heart becomes free and my shame is undying in your presence Lord holy
Father, we just thank you for this time. Thank you for orchestrating this. I ask for truth to be shown to us right now. I ask for your reign to extend over this country in just an unbelievable way, in this world in an unbelievable way, in a way that only you can. We seek your face first, Lord. We seek your name first, Lord. The only one. 